Hi folks, I'm here with Sister May from Ruslare at Albeke Feast. Uh, very welcome, very nice concert of you. Uh, for the viewers, can you introduce yourself member by member? So first name and function in the band. And please take the mic. Hello, my name is Stefan. Uh, I'm playing the drums in Sister May. Hello, I'm Wallace. I'm taking the groove on bass. Hello, my name is Bert and I'm the singer. Hello, my name is Peter and uh, I play synths and uh, guitar. Hello, my name is Karl, I play the guitar. Uh, sorry for the noise, folks. Uh, idiots are now doing a sound check, they're gonna play. So uh, we're here at Albuquerque Feast. Uh, very nice concert. Can you give a feedback of your concert yourself? Maybe some of you or one of you. What do you think of your own concert? For me, it was very dynamic, very good. What do you think yourself? Uh, I think uh, it was a, it was a very dynamic. Not so easy because it was uh, early in the afternoon. I think we are uh, better later on the evening. But uh, playing is playing, so uh, that's good for us. Someone has to add something. What do you? What did you think of uh, the concerts? I think it was very energetic, um, like we uh, like to play. Um, there was room on the stage, that's an uh, advantage. And um, uh, the sound was, uh, was good uh, in the front, on the stage, that's uh, important. Yeah, even in the photo pit the sound was good. Normally the sound is shitty, but uh, I had a good, good sound, so I was lucky. Uh, for people who don't know you, give a short biography of the band. The year you started, the conditions you started, who started the band. Uh, and maybe also, uh, if someone played in a rather famous band before, please tell us. Um, this band uh, has started in uh, 2017. Um, at that moment I was uh, 33. Um, and I think uh, with, my, uh, uh, with my buddy for uh, many, many years, um, we started a little project with maybe the best drummer in Belgium. And um, oh, thank you. So the best drummer in Belgium. Um, but um, it is our first first thing. I from Karl and and and, and me. Um, and um, yes, the, the the ambition was in the beginning. Uh, we want to play. We want to play. We want to play. And um, five years later, five years later, we're uh, we're still playing. Uh, it started very funny, actually. Uh, Bat said, I, "I'm gonna start a band, and you're gonna play the guitar." That's what, that was the uh, exact message yes. I, I, uh, he nice. gave. He gave me. Well, am I right uh, if I would say uh, you can fit on any bill, like a pop bill, a metal bill, uh, alternative rock bill? So that's my impression. If I would give a description of your style. Well. I think maybe we can give the mic to Stefan because he's uh, very important for uh, for the sound of uh, Sister May. Um, I think if you if we want to avoid the world the word uh, eclectic, um, but uh, there are influences. We we all have been uh, growing up with uh, with the grunge. We have we have grown up with the progressive uh, rock, progressive metal. These influences are very clear in, uh, when you hear our music. And there's also the, the electronic side, the wave, the wave component in it. Uh, and I think it blends very good together. Uh, and it's also, that's what makes us uh, rather unique uh, as we approach the sound. Uh, yesterday, uh, Bert sent me the link of the new headset uh, video, very nice. Uh, if I would give a description of the video, I would say musically it's like the first album of Nine Inch Nails. And uh, visually, I would say it's like the old videos of the 80s of uh, From 242, uh, Headhunter, uh, Aggressiva. What do you think? I think that uh, Nine Inch Nails is uh, uh, very important for our band because um, he uh, in the 80s and the 90s his, his sound was very aggressive but also very poppy um, and that is i think the band who fit us the most also filter that's uh, also a band who is very important for us 
but um, yes, Nine Inch Nails is, uh, is very important for, uh, for, uh, for our band. And maybe about um, the video itself, um, it shows uh, many pictures, uh, images of um, yeah, things that are actually at this moment very, very um, actual and uh, if you see it, you can uh, without the sound you can you can hear the sound. If you hear the sound, you can see the uh, the images. I think that's uh, that's the uh, something that works works very well on this uh, on this new clip. Well, I know Jeroen who did the video. I think he catched uh, also very good the the effect of doing uh, like a synchro of the fastness of the images uh, with the fastness of the sound. It was very good synchro all like you said a bit. Uh, are there any other influences, other bands that gives you inspiration for uh, sound of the band? Or maybe we can give yeah. Mr. Bass. Yeah, uh, we're kind of like a, a crossover band because we, we managed to uh, put uh, several influences into uh, our songs and goes from, from punk to, uh, to, to metal to, to melo melodic uh, pop and uh, we try to put everything in, inside the song uh, without losing our, our own identity. About music, uh, it doesn't have to be influenced, it can be influenced uh, for all of you. Suppose you're on a desert island, you don't have internet, no radio, no phone, only a record player or a CD player and you can only listen to three albums. Which three albums each one of you will take on a <laughs> desert island? Maybe one very funny detail, you're not on the same island, so you can only listen to three albums. That's why I want to start. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am the oldest guy, uh, so I'm uh, mostly influenced by... Uh, <laughs> um, by the grunge, grunge period, so that's uh, my kind of uh, influence I had when I was a teenager. Uh, so for me it's gonna be Nirvana, but never mind, uh, it's gonna be uh, Pearl Jam with 10. And then maybe um, Simon's Dream, um, the, the album from... Uh, the name is <laughs> it's gone at this moment. <laughs> uh, or um, Radiohead uh, with Pablo Honey. Uh, I, I said four, sorry. Um, for me, uh, it's also uh, an album from uh, Radiohead, uh, In Rainbows. Um, then I think uh, Neil Young with The Harvest. And um, mm, Queens of the Stone Age, Song for the Deaf. Uh, for me, it's a pretty hate machine from uh, Nine Inch Nails. But also um, Bleach uh, from Nirvana because um, that was the first album I uh, ever bought. And Bleach is a very, very, um, very, how do you say in English? Coral <laughs> Achter. Organic. Organic, yes. And that's the sound that I like. And um, the third album is, I think, uh, a little bit later is 10,000 days uh, from two. You stole two of mine, so uh, the first two, you, two ones you, you told I would have said also. But I have many, I, I will tell three in a few minutes. Uh, for me the records are gonna be um, White Pony from Deftones, uh, Caius, any kind of record of them, and uh, White Stripes. Uh, for me, it's uh, 10,000 days. Uh, it's a very important uh, tool. Um, then the gathered work of um, Parting Gift, an unknown band in, from the UK. It's more the emo, emo kind of style, but very aggressive and, uh, and nice vocal, vocal work. Um, and then uh, Carnival. Uh, Sound Awake, an Australian uh, progressive rock band. Well, for me, if I have to answer myself, I would uh, say now uh, Heroes del Silencio, the very first album, the Spanish uh, rock metal band from the 90s. Uh, recently, the, the singer told he gonna stop singing, but I know it's definitely. Uh, second uh, would be um, from Japan. Uh, Loudness, Devil Soldier, Heavy Metal from Japan, the album of 82. Uh, and third one would be Dream Theater Awake, the old Dream Theater I, I adore. 
Uh, any updates you have to tell? I know the video was shot uh, in advance for an album coming out of 23. Uh, maybe other things you have to tell about this? Um, the first part of the album uh, was recorded in uh, 2020. Uh, 21. 2021, yes. Um, and we're gonna now we go, we're going recording the second part of the album. And uh, in 2023, there will be a release party. Uh, yeah, at the end of the year, with uh, our new, our first album. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Any other updates or anything, any messages you want to give uh, for YouTube? Uh, the video is going to be produced on YouTube, but the research on Zenus, so maybe you have some other things, whatever to tell, whatever you want to tell. I think it's, it's important that we, um, we want to make the music from the heart that goes to the head. So we make it from the heart and you, has to you have to listen to it, you have to uh, read the lyrics and uh, uh, maybe the images, the, the videos that, that we um, match to it, uh, that's, uh, I think that's the thing Bert wants to do, is um, bring the, the, the message and, and bring um, the, the things we, we see every day that we are not uh, okay with. Uh, that is what we want to, uh, to complain about in our songs. <laughs> Uh, we uh, want to play the songs, but uh, we also want to uh, make a total uh, project of it. We want to uh, make it a composition. Yeah. Uh, I think it's very important that everybody should uh, thinking. That is uh, the most important thing about uh, our music. Yeah, and uh, also give credits to. Uh, one special guy who entered our community, and that's um, Jeroen Mille, who, who made the, the visual. The visuals is uh, fantastic. Uh, so, um, a big thank you to him also. Yeah. Yes, Jeroen, uh, you're a, a very uh, great artist. Yes, and uh, also Philippe de Bot for uh, producing our music. And yes, yes. Um, yeah, that's that's very important. very important. Yes, he feels what we want to make and what we want to bring, and uh, he can translate it uh, very good in our in our music. By Jeroen, I know uh, he's also a colleague of Hans, and together they have uh, the FX uh, Records shop also, and they have also the business about uh, printing. So they're very good guys. Uh, Hans, I know since we were both 11 and 12 years old, so that's uh, uh, in the middle ages. Uh, thank you very much for giving me the interview. Uh, interview do was done by Jan Vervake for Jan Vervake YouTube for the magazine. Also for Jan Vervake Photo and Film Facebook page. Bye bye. See you guys. Thank you. Bye.